is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. I mean, it's no big surprise, is it? This has been coming for a while now, and rightfully so. It's good to know that lying chronically isn't a fast track to success or a fast track to securing any kind of positive legacy, because it shouldn't be. Honesty matters, decency matters. And so politically in the UK, today is a very, very good day. Boris Johnson didn't get to emulate his all-time hero, Winston Churchill. In fact, he didn't really emulate anyone. He had no interest in the common man or the common woman's wants or needs, and he felt he existed above the law. Well, no one's above the law. The lies have finally caught up with him, and his party have given him the heave-ho. Although, just to be clear, the Conservative Party and the MPs that finally outed him and gave him that final push are no better. MPs, including my own here in Gloucester, only gave Boris Boris Johnson that final push when they realised that their own political legacies and political careers were under threat. Anyway, no more politics. This is not a politics channel. We don't do politics on From the Ash, not very often anyway. Hello, welcome to From the Ash. I'm so glad that you're here for another video on my channel. I really do apologise, by the way, for having not vlogged a lot recently. There is a reason. I have been very, very busy with a few other things um, uh, going on personally. Life's been really busy personally. Just be patient with me if you can. I haven't forgotten that you're there. I love making content for this channel and there is gonna be a lot of great content coming over the summer. Prayers appreciated for us um, and I will fill you in more as soon as I possibly can, but it's all good stuff, so prayers appreciated. Anyway, I'm out and about this afternoon. I've popped out to get a few chores done. Um, and then I need to get a little bit more work done this afternoon. But first of all, let's tackle those chores. Bag of old clothes, consider yourself donated. Card for a newborn baby. I don't know anything about babies. This one, I mean, that's for a boy and I think the baby's a girl, so that's a bad start. Now dessert. I mean, you can't go wrong with a trifle in the sun, can you? Here we go, red wine. Now this, I do know. Now I'm off to the pub to get a little bit more work done. I'm in Cheltenham right now. I wanted to go to the, uh, the pub this afternoon to do some work because I've been in my home office all day and I just felt like getting out, you know, you just want a little bit of a change of scenery, so that's why I've popped out. I'm here in Cheltenham and I'm going to the Brewdog pub that opened up here recently. I've never actually been to a Brewdog pub before, but I really like Brewdog beer, so I thought I'd pop in there, do a little bit of work. Also, in the pub, they've got a new beer uh, that was created by the uh, Peter Crouch podcast that I listen to all the time. So I thought while I'm in there, I'll give the Peter Crouch loud beer or lager or stout, which is it? We don't know. We're going to find out now. Let's go and try it. Let's give this beer a try. I've gone for the Laut. They do not have it on draft, but they do have it in cans. I love the can design, I've got to say. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Look at that. You've got Peter Crouch on there. You've got Chris Stark on that side. Beautifully designed. It does not look like a normal beer. It looks like more of a, a Guinness, like a stout vibe. But it is a combination of a stout and a lager. Or a lager and a stout, hence the Laut. So let's give it a try. Cheers, Crouchy. Cheers, Starky. Let's give it a bash. It tastes more like a stout than a lager. Definite Guinness vibes. Quite refreshing though. It's not it's not the heaviness of a, a regular stout. It's quite yeah, it's refreshing, it's good. If you're feeling parched, the loud should hit the spot for you. I've ordered some food as well, that's on the way in a bit, but I want to try and get some work done. Sometimes I like to pop out and try some of the sort of local pubs, cafes, etc. for a bit of office time, if you like. It's better than hanging out in the office at home, you know, get a bit of interaction with people and just sort of change the scenery a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna try and get some work done here in the uh, Brewdog in Cheltenham. Bit of food on the go. Lau on the go, it's all good. There 
he is. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. Right, that's me done for the day. I've done my work. I've tried the lout. Very nice it was too. And I'm heading home. What a glorious day it is, by the way. Look at the blue sky. Unbelievable weather in Cheltenham. Loving it. And here I am, folks. As you can see, I am not at home. And that is because the sun is out, as you can see from the blue sky behind me. And we don't get a lot of sun here in the UK, so I thought I'd pop out, have a little bit of peace and quiet in the great outdoors, and just chill in the sunshine. And that is what I've been doing. I want to say for 10 minutes, because that was the plan, to come here for 10 minutes, just get a little bit of sun before I nip home. Uh, but it's not been 10 minutes, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been almost an hour now of just enjoying the great outdoors. But when you work at home, it's nice to pop out and do this every now and again because otherwise you just see the same four walls and no people. And it's quite nice being out here. There's people around. Everyone's just enjoying the sunshine. And uh, I'm one of them. I'm really enjoying the sunshine. Got a new hairstyle. Don't know if you can see. You see that? I normally sweep my hair right back. But I went to the barbers and I kind of just said to the guy, do what you want <laughs> and he did he gave me like a side parting so now it parts there or it's supposed to anyway it doesn't look the best at the moment um i haven't quite figured out how to do the parting properly yet but i quite like it something a bit different you know nice to refresh the look every now and again trying to vlog here i actually did it for my sister's wedding which was how long ago was that now? I don't even know what the date is today. 7th of July, so we're looking at almost two weeks ago, my sister Grace got married to Josh, who's a great guy, Liverpool fan. Um, so, you know, there's that, but I'll let him off that one because he is a good guy. I did something actually that I'm not proud of at Josh's wedding. Josh is a Liverpool fan, as I said, and I was in charge of putting together the playlist for their reception. Uh, you know, when people are sitting down and eating their dinner and whatnot, there's a bit of music going in the background and I was in charge of putting together the playlist for that, which I gladly did. I put in the playlist, Glory Glory Man United, because he's a Liverpool fan, I thought that would be funny, but I actually only put it in there for a joke. I put it in, sent the playlist over to him, and I thought, ah, oh, he'll spot that and then I'll take it out. You know, I had no intention of actually playing it. And he, sure enough, he did spot Glory Glory Man United in the playlist. Forgot to take it out, didn't I? So at the actual wedding <laughs> of a Liverpool fan, Glory Glory Man United just starts playing. But I swear it was an accident on my part. I definitely, definitely didn't mean to put Glory Glory Man United in the final playlist. Josh, I do apologise if you're watching this. It wasn't intentional. Or was it? No, it wasn't, I promise. It wasn't It wasn't intentional, but it was quite funny. It was an amazing day. It was a busy day uh, for me. I had like three or four different hats on, on the day. Uh, I was involved with leading worship. I took my camera along and put a little video together for them for, of the day. Um, I had a few little, uh, I was helping out with the sound a little bit and the PA side of things, uh, particularly for Joe who was playing violin. I was an usher, um, I was involved with moving the room around a little bit between sort of things going on. Um, I was obviously Grace's brother so I had that hat on as well. So it was a busy day but I was so happy to see them enjoying it and they're off on the honeymoon now having a really good time by all accounts and so yeah a really memorable day for our family really really good that's part of the reason i haven't been vlogging quite as much as normal because that kind of took over life for the whole family for a couple of weeks so there wasn't much content around that time but yeah really good day and that is why i got the new haircut i also had the beard trimmed a little bit although it's grown out again now anyway i am what's the word procrastinating when the weather's like this you just, you just got to make the most of it. I mean, look at this, honestly. Look at what I'm looking at now. It's beautiful. It's just a park. It's literally just a park. But there's nobody here. The sun is out. I'm sat in the shade now. I was lying down in the sun over there for quite a while. But the reason, but the reason that I came back over here um, out of the sun was because the lighting wasn't too good for talking to the camera so I was getting some sun but actually I probably should go home now. Okay so it's a little bit later now I'm back home and I've got to do something quite important right now it's actually quite late it's 10 to 11 we were just sitting watching a bit of Netflix and um, I got the email that I've been waiting for all day came through I didn't think it was going to come through tonight but it has done 
and that is an email to say that my dissertation result has come through. So that essay that I was working on a few vlogs ago, the final essay, the final big one, I've got the result that has just come through to my laptop now. Uh, so I'm going to have a look and see what I got. To be honest, I probably you'll only be watching this video if I've done okay because I'm not probably won't put it out if I've done badly. So let's have a look and see what I got for this dissertation. This isn't my final grade. This is literally the grade for that one essay. Uh, my final grade comes later in the year, I think, after the summer. Uh, but yeah, this will go quite a long way to sort of showing me if I've you know got the the result, the overall result that I wanted. So. Let's have a look. Bit nervous because there's quite a lot of riding on this and I put a lot of effort into the dissertation, like a lot of effort. So, right, come on. I'm procrastinating. I'm trying to delay it. Let's get on with it. What did I get? Got to log in. Here we go. Yes. Happy with that. That's really good. That's more than I thought I was going to get, so I'm very happy. That's really good. Oh, I can breathe again now. There you go. Little little bit of relief, I think. Have you had Joe's over there? Pretty good, eh? Happy, really happy with that. I'm going to have a little look at the feedback. My um, essay was on uh, women in church leadership and what that looks like and perhaps what the Bible says about it and how that's affected the way the church does things now. And the final line of my feedback is, are you listening to this? I love your argument and I think it's an important piece of work that you've presented. One that I hope will resource the church in the future. That's why I did it. That's why I did it. I wanted to put something forward that was constructive, you know, that wasn't just me blabbering on for thousands of words. I wanted it to be constructive for people that read it and apparently that it is. So I'm happy with that. There you go. I can go back to watching Netflix now. Got the result I wanted. Very, very happy. Music